What is up, guys? It's Deedzy. Courtney's dead. And today we... Oh, I like the extended there. <laughs> and today we are bringing you episode 51 of Dead Frontier. And this will be a little bit of an update because... 51, bitch. I kind of lied and said we are going to put out a video the next day. And then again, guys, stuff got away from me, so I apologize. However... We got a new car, though. We did get a new car, so I was running around dealing with insurance and everything else that comes with a new car. So I apologize about the... Uh, the late video actually so again I'm gonna try to get back on this every day putting out a video at least or maybe I should say every other day I shouldn't shouldn't break these promises to you guys I should strive for at least every other day new Dead Frontier content <laughs> so in terms of an update in our last video I said we have a new build and we do uh, or at least my one character does so as you can see we went with the pistol so I sold the ward carbine uh, in exchange for some other gear to try out so I hope I don't run into a boss while I'm doing this as well. <laughs> uh, but yes, as you can see, we went with the double the double shot AAX, so it's a pistol. Does a little bit less damage, um, but I went with an all critical build, so I only have 30 strength. So for those of you who've been playing or looking at the stats as well, a lot of the armor or some of the uh, literally they'd be heavier weapons. Uh, require 100 strength, but with a critical build, you use the meshes that don't require any strength to throw on. The downside to that, however, is a lot of them don't absorb uh, as much damage. Sorry, I spaced out there trying to look for where the bunker was, just so I can get some supplies. I was doing less absorption damage. I know you were. But yes, they absorb less damage. It's like a split, so you have to... All the points that you essentially didn't put into strength, you put into endurance and agility and critical. Oh, where are you? There we go. Uh, so like I said, we had the double shot there. And now, since I've got a little bit of... Oh, no. I'm not familiar with this place. I don't like that. Get away. But yes, as you can see, we also have the street dog. I just haven't chose to whip it out yet. Get in that building. The street dog and the GM94. So now we have a uh, submachine gun and explosives that we're using. So to bring it all back around, now we're using pistols, submachine guns, and explosives. Uh, explosives, surprisingly, a lot cheaper to grind with as well. And I'm sure a lot of you. Really? I know, well, the, the one that I'm using because it uses the regular grenades and not heavy grenades. Uh, but again, the uh, the thing that I never y used to do at all, uh, because I was a big noob when it came to Dead Frontier, was uh, I'm not gonna grab those. Grenades can shoot over the wall, so you can literally hide by the wall right here, and I could shoot this guy if I wanted to. And I'm sure lots of you already know that, so I'm just preaching to the choir, as it were. Uh, but yes, also in terms of updates, so I finally reached level 75 as an engineer so I can finally repair my own armor. I know a lot of people get a class to 75 and leave it as a money-making account. However, I bought a six-month membership on this. So I will be playing with it for a while now, actually. <laughs> and I don't mind that at all. Um, I know someone mentioned in the comments, like obviously if I would have went with a class like soldier or police officer... Um, I would have bonus stats right now, so maybe in the future, you know, like next year when membership runs out, I will, uh, switch that. But I also now have a doctor that's level 54, and I need to upgrade him, or continue to level him up till he's level 75. And a chef that's level 45. So I'm gonna do another video, obviously showing some of the newer players as well, how leveling up multiple accounts can make you some money in your spare time. Money is always good. Is it ever? Especially in Dead Frontier, eh? You need friggin' ammunition and medical supplies, hire people to repair your armor. Ooh, an RG6. Straight on. Struggle's real out here in the frontier. It is. Um, and then I also made, I guess in terms, again, of updating you guys, <clears throat> I also created another account that I'm gonna try to, uh, Make a critical build as well, but try out some new weapons. I think I'm going to try out melee and rifles on that one. 
and give that a whirl. And then, again, on that one, I'm actually using an athlete as a class, so we'll have the bonus stats, of the bonus 25 agility, I believe, you start with. No, I don't want those 10-gauge shells. Come on. But again, guys, we appreciate all the support in the, uh, in the comments and whatnot. I know a lot of people watch the videos and then give me tips, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I consider it support. Hence why I'm answering the questions about the engineer and whatnot. Like now I'm now I'm just gonna play as this, okay? Like that's just happening. I don't care if I'm missing a few stats that I could have had, aka twenty five bonus stats. Not a big deal. <laughs> just kind of try to walk. I don't cry myself to sleep at night. Actually, I kind of do because it's twenty five stats, extra stats I can have. But at the end of this video, I'll probably show you guys the actual my my profile so you can see that uh, the stats. So a critical build obviously focuses on having critical hit, pretty self-explanatory. And then the street dog uh, fires extremely fast, uses the same ammunition that my pistol uses, so 55 caliber rounds, and has a, I mean some machine guns don't necessarily have a good critical hit, I won't say that, but it's good at crowd control. And then obviously the, uh, the explosives there to grind. Who doesn't love them, so explosives, really. Exactly. And so, the other reason that obviously I went to the bunker here is I'm just going to get some supplies. So that's what else I've been doing. I literally, I transfer all of my food. Actually, now that uh, I'm level 75 as the engineer, I use the food, and I also transfer it over to my doctor account to get some extra money just coming in. And then any ammunition and stuff, I trade over to... You know what? I need to stop talking and I'll save this for another video, guys. Not going to give this away. But today we're just going to be scouting for supplies again. <clears throat> I'm ho hoping that the weekend event coming up is another good one. I know recently we had the armor. Uh, and then most recently, the weekend that just passed, we had the 40% less received damage. Um, that kind of came in handy, but again, I would have much rather had... Even bonus experience would be nice, so then I can level up some of my other accounts. Well, like, I need some bonus experience. Like I need to. I know, and then we can level your account up faster as well. Fact. But as you guys can tell, we're obviously at the bunker right now. I should have stated that at the beginning of the video as well. And I need to find a clan to join. So if anybody wanted to comment below if they're in a clan that would be welcoming to a member such as myself, that would be great. Uh, same with Court. Send her a shout out. I know a lot of you guys actually send Ooh. us send us supplies and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys like her more than me. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I think it was it's more so the fact that you've noticed that we started out in a low area, so you guys were super helpful in sending uh, ammunition, armor, weapons, high level weapons. So shout out to all of our uh, friends there again. You guys must be feeling pretty special. It's Chris Seamus, STFU. Um, you guys are all the bomb. SFX, I can't remember the first part of it, and I always mess it up, and so do you, but I know it's SFX. I think it's SFXY, if Aren't I'm not mistaken. I thought there were more axes. If I'm screwing it up, guys, let me know, and I apologize. But as you can tell, we like to shout out the hippie fam in our videos. And shout out to, uh, actually, i got to give a big shout out to Taylor Catrona, who was asking me about the videos the other day and whatnot. And who was nice enough to help us with our banner, actually, as well. Ooh, banners! And Court right now, I believe, is playing some... I'm just dicking around in Stardew Valley. Because I am an absolute loser. And that is okay. You're a great farmer, though. And that's the important thing. Well, I'm digging it, I don't know why it does that sometimes. It doesn't let me search the body. I did used to work on a farm, so I got that going. Exactly. Farm. You're already experienced. That's Pretty why experience. you're. That's why you're so good at the game. Right. I know. Get out of here, tons I do of fun. Got to take care of my cows and shit. What can I say? <laughs> But yes, guys, we'd also love to play with you, so if you guys want to comment below or send us a message on where you guys are, we've got accounts everywhere. We've got account at Nastias, account at Dogs. I say everywhere. We don't have one at Fort Pastor or Precinct 13, so... But don't... we can if you want us to bad enough. Yeah, get an account down there, play with you guys. 
I always love having more people to play with on Dead Frontier. Actually, to be honest, I haven't got a chance to do a lot of looting with other people. For some reason, lately, every time we turn multiplayer on, uh, it freezes up. I don't know if that's a problem that anybody else is having or has had. Um, but it, even, it did it with you multiple times. It's done it with me now. Yeah. It's being kind of a... It's being a pain in the ass. Yeah, to be honest. There we go. I just one of these times. I just want to loot a war carbine. I feel like that would be awesome. I shouldn't say I feel like that'd be awesome. It would be awesome <laughs> to get something like that. Currently, right now, though, on my list of things that I want to do, I have a shinobi mesh, but it does not have the greatest uh, master crafted stats on it. So I need to uh, get that in check. So that's why we're on a supply run, guys, because we're continuing to make money. To keep resetting, keep re-rolling the stats until we get stats that are acceptable. I think right now we're at 21 agility, 3 endurance. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Whatsoever. We will not stand for it. I want quality, not quantity. So, And then yeah. I've got a bunch of Nomad meshes kicking around that I'm probably going to save for myself and Courtney, actually. I was thinking about selling them, but then I'm like, well, we could use them. So, there goes that idea. <laughs> oh. Missed a spot. I feel like my good old days back in the fast food restaurant. You missed a spot. Don't tell me. There we go. Dried truffles. I love the truffles. You cook them, 45% hunger. Boom. They're delicious. I don't know. How, I don't know why you would. I thought truffles were like a candy. I don't know why you'd cook them, but are they candy? I don't ask questions. Oh, chocolate or something? I thought they were. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm stunned and people are going to comment and be like, no. What the fuck are truffles? Someone enlighten us yeah. and tell us. I thought they were candies or chocolate. Like, I thought it was. But then again, I guess you don't cook it. Good. Okay, so again, I guess we're going to have a little demonstration of some of the crowd control. I accidentally just built myself outside of the fence. Like, locked myself. No, I, oh. Yeah. So, finish off the last little guy with the pistol there. The only downside I find of using the street dog, obviously, is the fact that it uses the same ammunition that my pistol uses. So, when I'm running low on one, I'm running low on both. But yeah, it's got pretty decent kickback. Kickback, knockback, I should say. Alright, well, we're going to try to wall them in here. Or at least shoot them around the table. Try to shoot in short little bursts so I don't waste too much of my ammunition. Luckily, the point the 55 caliber isn't the most expensive ammunition, so that's a good news. Oh, get out of here! Leave me alone! Get out of here, rumblers! Quit rumbling! Oh, there we go, heavy grenades. I don't even think they're the prices keep fluctuating. Obviously, I was gonna say, what? holy wow, look at them all in there! And this is what I mean by the grenade launcher, guys. So you can literally just sit there and shoot over walls and not have to worry about. And again, this is just information for lower level play lower level players as well. <laughs> I get tongue tied. Um, another helpful tip, guys. I literally, and I don't find embarrassment in this at all. I will. Uh, I'll look up on the wiki as well and look up builds and whatnot and uh, helpful tips like that. So never be afraid to. Uh, do that and not necessarily use you know my videos as the greatest reference in the world clearly I take advice as well uh, but I remember being a low level player and just dicking around with all my stats and then wait later on obviously that's not the greatest thing in the world but yeah as you can see the grenade launcher has incredible splash damage and I'm not even worried about these two rumblers sitting there running at me just trying to friggin hit Rumble me away. I just keep running back and forth dodging them Oh, Tilly. Oh, that door, though. Oh, 
He got me in a corner. I said I jinxed myself. Whew, dodged him. I thought for sure he would have been done already. It took me a while to get this grenade launcher as well. I was going to say for a while using the GM, or not the GM94, but the HK69, the one shot grenade launcher. Takes a while as well. If you guys have grenade tips, because honestly I'm brand new to this, I'm not good at using it in a swarm of zombies. Uh, in terms of, I can use it over the wall here to grind, because obviously it's not that big of a deal to shoot them when they're not coming at you. However, I constantly see these videos online of people running around and using it. I don't know how they do it. It is some sort of witchcraft. Who lives nine times out of ten? Look out. Send that voodoo. Look out. Oh. Voodoo. Holy wah. They just keep coming. And this is what I need to do on my other accounts sit there and grind and level up. these guys take forever I need to eventually get one of those really good explosives but again I need to level up here guys I think my <clears throat> currently this is the best one I could use right now I think it's at six my explosives is at 60 everything else is at 120 like machine guns and pistols sorry Oh, there's guys on this side too. Bastards. Everywhere. Hokey Dinah. And here I thought I was clearing out the aggro, but it just seems to keep coming and coming. Holy wow, just die guys. There we go, now some of you are clearing out. That is the one thing that can get you though, our rumblers and bloaters from the other side. Bloaters are probably called bloats. <laughs> the big fat guys, you know what I'm talking about, guys. It's not semantics. Holy, you just see the explosions of green. Like, where is that? Oh my goodness. I do all that, and then there's a siren kicking around somewhere. That's just my luck, guys. Oh, I was going to say, how did you not go down? Oh, oh I shouldn't have went backwards. That was my first mistake. Alright, gotta get out of here. Gonna run downstairs, see if I can quickly grab anything before I leave the building. Do 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 do. Let's make this quick, cause I don't wanna be in here. Oh good, that was worth it. One third ammunition that I need. Do 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 do. Oh come on, like why, why? Why would you get upset that fast? Oh, because there's a siren? Yeah, that might do it. I 
I mean, I have no problem bottlenecking you guys and hammering you with submachine gun fire. Oh, too slow. Nope, didn't find anything. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, I wish I had more grenades. Find something, find something. No! There we go. Well, look at them all scrambling like fish in a barrel. Of course, I wouldn't find anything there. Let me find something here. Draw some of this aggro off. Come on. That's the other downside with a critical build, guys, is the fact that uh, you're not necessarily the strongest in terms of health-wise. Can't win them all. You can't. You really can't. Alright, come on, come on, come on. No, no. I don't want that. Guys, do I have to shoot? Mm -hmm. All of them. Climb them down. Wow. There we go. Finally. And there's that dinky by the door that I can't hit. I'm going to say I should not take this long game to search for a friggin' item. Let's do this. Of course there's nothing in there. Why would there be? Get out of here, rumblers. Quit rumbling. <laughs> They'll do that. They will. I want to get in that. Right quick, search that. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And again, guys, like I said, we're going for some supplies here so that I can, uh, oh, way too close to that bloat. My hand fell asleep there for a second. <laughs> we're just going for supplies. Again, what's great now that I'm level 75 is I can just sell my services as the engineer as well. So, even more money to make. So, things like truffles or whiskey, bonus. Anything I don't have to buy. Here we go. Buying shit's overrated. I oh, I was... In fact, I was going to try to get in there, but I guess... These zombies have other plans. What happens? There we go. Get out of there. Still got some bodies I want to search. You guys aren't going to stop me. Wow, putting my arm like that for a while, guys, has made my fingers fall. Oh, sure, I'll take some steroids. Why not? <laughs> All the greats do it. There we go. Health supplies, that's fine. We're golden. All right, guys. Well, got real. we will see you back at base here momentarily. All right, we made it back to base. We are injured, scratched, but that's okay because we're well fed. Anyway, <laughs> shit does happen. So as you can see here, guys, like I said, we wanted to go out. Oh, close that. Get out of here. We wanted to go out and get some supplies, and I feel like we did that.
We've got a full stack of 14 millimeter, full stack of 12.7. Five th six things of truffles, or five things of truffles, three neurotoxins, and a grenade launcher. That's a lot of truffles. That is a lot of truffles, and some grenades and miscellaneous ammo. So, what we're going to go ahead and do, obviously, is what any experienced Dead Frontier player does. Scrap that shit. Look at that, quick 20,000, that's perfect. Go ahead and take my steroids. Puts me back up to healthy right on. But alright guys, like I said, that's it for episode 51. I'm glad I could keep you up to date. We're going to try to put out videos every two, every two days. Every other day, rather. Um, just to give you guys more content. And like I said, looking for a clan as well, guys. I want to be more active. So don't be afraid to recommend some or send me a message. Uh... OMG A D B. So literally O M G A D B. Or Courtney is dead. It's as simple as it sounds. Send us a message, guys. Oh, lastly, I was gonna show you with all the weapons on and whatnot. This is what my stats are sitting at right now. So we've got, like I said, the 30 strength, because I'm not using strength-based armors or weapons. 63 endurance, but keep in mind that is with wearing the armor right now. So 120 agility, I need to god craft the armor. Accuracy is 90, that's the one thing that probably could afford to be a little bit lower, but I did want a, more accuracy for the SMG. I thought that might be better, but we'll see, we'll see in the long run. Critical hits at 121, so basically you want 124, god, you want, <clears throat> you want 124 critical hit to fully get the damage out of the submachine gun, so I'm just about there. Same with the reloading, 97. I want 100, obviously, so it'll just be instantaneous. Uh, but we're almost there, guys. And again, level 75 and continuing to climb the ranks. So thanks for tuning in for episode 51. This has been Deedsy. Courtney's dead. And thanks for all the love and support, guys. Peace. Peace it real. And peace love. Hippie thug.